So now we're going to implement this um, design or this equation right here where VTR equals negative 25 times negative 12.5 VTR where VTR is the output of the transducer providing uh, electrical signal minus uh, 0.25 times 5. We're going to implement that in terms of op amps shown here. So again, we're going to take that expression that we just looked at. VTR is equal to negative 25 times negative 12.5 times VTR our transducer output voltage multiplied by 0 0.25 minus 0.25 times 5 so that's our bias voltage here in terms of a 5 volt references so here is a block diagram implementation of this equation again here you see the minus 25 the minus 12.5 feeding through this summer and a 5 volt feeding through this 0 0.25 net with a negative in there as the other input to the summer and we have our output voltage of this um, interface so here's the op amp realization associated with this block diagram you can see here 250k divided by 10k is negative 25 and that 12.5 divided by 1k this is an inverting op amp on this stage or summer and that's uh, negative 12.5. Now that completes this first term and then dealing with the second term shown here we have this part of the summer. So we have 12.5 divided by 50 is equal to 0.25 and in this case 12.5k over 50k still yields 0.25 multiplied by this 5 volt reference voltage to do our level shifting this is our level shifting or bias and once again this guy right here represents our amplification and that concludes this transducer interface design where it provides amplification and level shifting and is implemented using this op amp circuit configuration and that concludes this example of transducer interface design. So let's do another example of a transducer interface design. Here we're given a temperature transducer which has the following characteristics shown here in which we want to design an op amp circuit to interface the transducer output for temperatures in the range from 20 degrees, negative 20 degrees to 120 degrees centigrades with a panel meter whose full range is goes from 0 to 3 volts and we want to use a standard 1.5 volt battery as the reference source for the required bias so that's our example so once again corresponding to negative 20 degrees is 2.1 volts corresponding to 120 degrees is 0.42 volts and we want to feed this voltage range and convert it to a range of 0 to 3 volts. So using our relationship again of VO equal to K times the transducer voltage plus V bias, I'm going to use this equation again to solve for our K and V bias. So in this example 0 is equal to K times 2.1 so 2.1 times k corresponds to the 0 volt range so negative 20 2.1 to 0 plus a V bias and this is at minus 20 degrees centigrade our other equation is 3 equal k times 0 0.42 plus V bias at 120 degrees centigrade. So 120 degrees 
corresponding to it is 0 0.42 volts. Multiply some application and do some bias. Now doing the algebra, we have k is equal to 3 minus 0 all over 0.42 minus 2.1 or negative over 0 0.56. Now solving for V bias, we have the following relationship. We have negative 2.1 times K, but we saw K is negative over negative 1 divided by 0.56 or simply 3.75 volts. Now we can rewrite our bias voltage as follows as 2.5 and 1.5 volts. So we need a gain of 2.5 for this required bias from the specified 1.5 voltage battery reference source as was given by the problem. Therefore our output voltage VO is equal to our amplification of negative 1 over 0 0.56 times VTR plus 2.5 times our reference voltage of 1.5. Now we have two realizations of this equation in terms of op amps. One using a sim single basic subtractor and the other uses a two op amp subtractor shown here. So let's take a look at the first design where we have the output voltage VO is equal to minus K1 times V1 plus K2 times V2. Now we can choose K1 to equal to 1 divided by 0 0.56 and we can say that V1 equals to the transducer voltage TR and that K2 is 2.5 and V2 is 1.5 volts. Now here for this first circuit, the single subtractor with one op amp equals R2 over R1. That's just our inverting op amp side. And here we have a voltage divider of R4 divided by R3 plus R4 times the uh, non inverting gain of that. So K2 is equal to R1 plus R2 divided by R1. That's our gain of this non inverting op amp and this part is our voltage divider R4 R3 plus R4 so this gain of K1 of 1 over negative 0.56 can be realized choosing that R2 equals 10 K and R1 is equal to 5.6 K so that serves that value and using these values R2 is just 1 plus 10 over 5.6 and then we have R4 R3 plus R4 which is equal to 2.5 now solving for R4 yields a relationship between R4 and R3 in this case R4 is equal to 8.75 R3 and if we choose R3 let's say 1k then R4 would be 8.75k so if R3 is 1k then R4 would be 8.75k and that concludes this first design okay that concludes this basic subtractor design using a single op amp the next video will look at this two op amp subtractor and then compare between these two designs.